I'm uh, sure first one, Steve Pachowski from Citizens for Liberty. Uh, I'm sure Steve's going to have a little something to say about people trying to take away our rights. All right, well, thanks very much. Can hear me okay? Um, I'm kind of under the weather right now. Um, I know a lot of us are, but thank you everybody for coming out today. We really do appreciate it. Well, um, again, my name is Steve Atrowski, and I'm the founder and president of a grassroots organization here in Montgomery County called Citizens for Liberty. Thank you. And I am extremely honored to be able here to be here to speak to everybody today. Now we are gathering here today to exercise our First and Second Amendment rights as we boldly express our dissatisfaction with Lower Marion Township refusing to obey state law. No county, no municipality or township may in any manner regulate the unlawful ownership of firearms and Lower Marion is clearly breaking the law. Period. Now I would hold up a constitution and read it right now, but as you can see my hands are kind of full. But anyway, up oh, the wind's throwing that off. We're all here because we believe that real patriotism is a willingness to challenge the government when it's wrong. And that's exactly what we are doing here today in Balakin with Park. Now I believe in a I believe that red America and blue America must finally come together and try to solve a serious problem because protecting our children from predators isn't a conservative position or a liberal position. It's a common sense American position. And the founders knew, the founders knew that there could be no freedom without the ability to defend it. But sadly, instead of just following the law, the Lower Marion Board of Commissioners decides to put residents and their children at risk. And instead of offering new solutions, the same anti-gun organizations who've always hated the Second Amendment have politicized the deaths of kindergartens, kindergartners and adopting the Rahm Emanuel tactic of never letting a good crisis go to waste. As you know, legislators such as State Representative Dallin Leach and the ceasefire gun grabbers are hell-bent on finding new ways to erode the Second Amendment as rights as many Americans as possible. And with the constant assault on your self-defense rights, upholding Pennsylvania law and passing strong pro-gun reforms is more important now than ever. Especially right here in Lower Marion Township since they are clearly breaking the law. Now bear with me as I'm trying to hold this with the wind. Does wind help? No, I don't need help, thank you. I appreciate it though. <laughs> but yeah, this wind, thank God it's almost springtime, right? You know, yesterday was horrible, but at least it's not raining, I'll tell you that. Now recently, Allentown City Council decided to repeal its unlawful firearms ordinances. Many other towns across the Commonwealth have repealed or plan to repeal their unlawful firearms ordinances, including the city of Erie, Reading, Horsham, Lower Providence, that's where I'm from. We're going to get them to repeal their unlawful firearms ordinance soon, thanks to Joshua Prince, right? That's coming up um, in a board of supervisors meeting. And also uh, Warrington, just to name a few. While these towns obey the law, Lower Marion Township continues to break the law. And the residents of Lower Marion, I think they seriously, um, what we need is a constitutionally sound self-defense policy of freedom that promotes peace of mind, personal responsibility, and the universal right to keep and bear arms. What the residents don't need is a town that breaks its law and politicians that put their interests before the safety of the people. Since we protect our president, our vice president, governors, senators, judges, banks, hospitals, office buildings, and jewelry, jewelry stores, I could go on, with armed guards, why does it make sense to protect our children with small signs that say, this is a gun-free zone? And then hope that someone with a gun can get there quickly in case of an emergency. Why is it so hard for some people and politicians to understand that we do have the basic right to be able to defend ourselves and our children? The laws, the Founding Fathers said this, the laws that forbid the carrying of self-defense tools are laws of such a nature. They only disarm law-abiding citizens. Such laws make things worse, the assaulted and better for the criminals. 
They serve rather to encourage than to prevent homicides, for an unarmed person may be attacked with greater confidence than an armed person. Lower Marion Township, we all have the right to keep and bear arms, and that universal right extends to being able to protect ourselves and our small children, especially in public parks. Not to mention how many thefts, rapes, assaults, and murders happen all across public parks in the small town America. Now recently in Lower Marion, there was a burglary, burglary right on Woodbine Avenue, an assault on Montgomery Avenue, and ongoing thefts on City Line Avenue. Believe me, I used to work private security on City Ave. You wouldn't believe how many criminals I chased. Oh my God, it's just insane. Just minutes from here is Philadelphia. And there is a, a lot of things going on that could happen in this park, but it's only happening minute, minutes away, and we should always have that right to protect ourselves. And as Americans, I think we should come together. Let's come together and rise above the rhetoric and actually do something positive that protects ourselves and our children. I want everybody in this crowd to ask yourself, ask yourselves this, if not us, who, if not now, when? And our time is now. Today, on March 15, 2015, the people of Lower Marion demand that this township stops violating state law. Let's be the gen. Thank you. Woo! Let's be the generation that takes a stand not only for ourselves but for our prosperity. I hope that you all and everybody here will continue to take a stand and many others as we take back the Commonwealth. And we're starting right here today in Lower Marion Township. Isn't that right, folks? Yeah. Well, I just wanted to thank everybody else for coming out, and we're going to go to the next speaker. Thank you. God bless Lower Marion Township, because we know they need it, and God bless the Republic. Thank you. Thanks, Jim. Everyone has their own reasons for carrying a firearm for self-defense. And next up, we have Wendy Burnham. I'm just going to tell you why it's important to her and her. <laughs> Hello, my name is Wendy Burnham. I'm happy to have this opportunity to say a few words on why I carry a firearm for protection. I am a wife, mother, and a firearms owner who is concerned about my family's safety. I grew up in a home without any firearms. I did not become a firearms owner until after I met my husband. He got me interested in firearms. Due to my interest in firearms, um, Due to my interest to learn more about firearms, I took a women's firearms class. In this class, I learned how to safely operate my firearm, as well as, as, well as how to properly defend myself with it. After seeing all the coverage on the news in gun-free zones like Newtown, the Aurora Inside Movie job. Theater, and, the, and on countless college campuses, I see that these gun-free zones don't make any sense. The only thing these zones do is prevent law-abiding citizens like us from being able to fight back. With these illegal gun ordinances in place, like the one that you have here in Lower Marion Township, it limits my ability to protect myself and my family when we go to parks and playgrounds. Amen. Time after time, women are raped, assaulted, and murdered in parks across the country. As a five-foot-tall woman, as you can say, <laughs> I have limited physical ability to defend myself. By having a firearm, it levels the playing field and stacks the odds in my favor to survive. I know our legislators have good intentions, but you cannot legislate human behavior. If someone wants to do harm and has evil in their heart, they will perpetuate violence by any means at their disposal. This might, violence may be done, unfortunately, by a gun, but it could be done by a knife, a machete, a bomb, a sword, a car, or anything that person can think of. This ordinance here in the Lower Marion Township creates a gun-free zone that only disarms law-abiding citizens like us. According to Article 1, Section 21 of the Pennsylvania State Constitution, the right of the citizens to bear arms in defense of themselves and the state shall not be questioned. These laws need to be repealed in line with the rest of the state and allow us the, the ability to defend ourselves. Again, I want to thank you for giving me the opportunity to speak in front of you about my concerns. Thank you. Wendy, thanks so much. Thank you.
Next up, some of you guys know him. Some people fear him. <laughs> Not a myth, but a legend in the making. Josh Prince from the Firearms Industry Consulting Group. I'm actually going to forego the microphone. I've never been said to be soft-spoken, so if anyone can hear me, just wave a hand. I'll up it a notch. Thank you all for coming out today. I greatly appreciate it, as does every other patriot that's here today. We are telling Lower Marion we will not allow them to violate the Crimes Code. Since 1974, it has been a crime in the Commonwealth to enact any, any regulation regarding firearms or ammunition. It is a misdemeanor of the first degree. The highest level misdemeanor crime that we have in the Commonwealth to enact any such regulation. Now, Lower Marion contends that their ordinance is okay because they say they have an exception. Unfortunate for them, the Commonwealth Court has already addressed that argument. In NRA versus City of Philadelphia, the Commonwealth Court said that municipalities cannot regulate even consistently with the Uniform Firearms Act. The ordinance here in Lower Marion is unlawful and illegal. And therefore, we are calling on District Attorney Furman to bring charges against all those individuals involved in enacting the ordinance, promulgating the ordinance, and enforcing the illegal ordinance. To the taxpayers of Lower Marion, my apologies. Your elected officials are going to cause your tax rates to go up because Lower Marion is going to be sued because of this illegal ordinance. And what is going to occur is the taxpayers are going to incur the cost not only of defending against the ordinance because their elected officials would not simply repeal the ordinance, but also the damages incurred by the plaintiffs, attorneys' fees and costs. Now ask yourself, at what cost? What is the benefit to Lower Marion in refusing to comply with the Crimes Code? Why are our elected officials held above the law? The tyrants. The people have had enough of this. The people want everyone treated equally. The people want the law to apply equally to everyone, regardless of whether you're an elected official or you're just a blue collar worker. We are all equal and we deserve the same rights. With that being said, before we all leave here today, I want to caution everyone. When we got here today, we found that there were individuals going up and down the streets placing nails and screws behind people's tires. They've been working diligently to clear that. Before any of you leave, though, please check underneath your cars and your tires to make sure there aren't those screws, nails, or other paraphernalia that may do damage to your vehicle. They believe that we pose such a risk and threat to them that they would stoop to the level of putting that, those types of items, nails, screws, and other items, underneath our cars and other vehicles. Please be cautious. Everyone has the right under the First Amendment to their beliefs. And I'll defend anyone, including Shira Goodman's right, to come out and be here today. In fact, if she was here today, we'd give her the floor. I'd be happy to hear her position on why she believes she should be entitled, as well as those municipalities that she speaks for, to violate the Crimes Code. But it's interesting to see she's not here even though she was a main proponent of Lower Marion not repealing its ordinance. So with that, I would thank you all once again for coming out here today, showing your support, and making it clear to Lower Marion that we will not comply, we will not allow them to violate the laws. Thank you.